Hey guys, and uh, welcome to another Super Sham Tech video. Now, I haven't done a video in a pretty long time, um, because I've been uh, extremely busy and I haven't gotten to making a video. But I should be making videos definitely more regularly now, so uh, stay tuned and uh, tell your friends and subscribe and stuff. So let's get started. This video is going to be about the uh, moderately newly released uh, Google Chrome 26, which is in its canary build, which is... Um, the newest, uh, the most uh, newly released build of Google in Chrome. So, uh, what you're looking at right now is uh, the new tab page of Google Chrome 26, and it's definitely different than what you've, you're used to being seen. So, um, where you had your normal, huge, most visited, most visited, and then over here, apps, now you have a big Google, and then you have a search bar, and this is actually a a um, it's time to replace the omnibar in the new tab page. Except I, I I like it. And then down here you have your most visited and your apps. Here you have your most visited listed. Quite small. Uh, they might change that. You have here you have your apps. So uh, if you have too many apps, you can always just scroll down there. Here we have a bookmarks bar and your URL bar, and then with the bookmarks bar there, looks like that. Without it, looks like that. So here are your extensions, and then in the settings bar, you have some different uh, controls, you could say. Uh, you have a different UI. You don't. You're, if you're on a Mac, then when you um, hover over an option or a menu um, option, it's going to look different, and then on Windows, it's gonna, there's a certain way it looks. And uh, they've completely changed that universally. On I think almost all, uh, you know, almost all uh, OSs. So you have a completely Chrome OS type of thing, um, different type of a menu bar, etc. You have um, I don't know how to explain it, but it's a different color. It's, it's definitely bigger, maybe uh, accommodating for touch screen, and um, that is a pretty big feature. You have a major new tab page change, and you have a uh, that now. By default, this is not the new tab page, but um, you can access this in, in about flags. Um, there's a lot added at the bottom. These are what I normally have uh, changed, but I haven't really changed this at all much except for this view. But at the bottom is where the magic happens, really. Let me try finding it now. So. Here it is. It's called the Enable Ex Instant Extended API, and it's for uh, all OSs. And it can be available for, but except for Android. But uh, what this does, if you enable it, is it enables the new uh, new tab page that you just saw. Um, old new tab page, the old new tab page, and the new new tab page. Bit of a tongue twister, or a repetitive, redundant, but um. Yeah, and then uh, I think this new um, UI and bigger UI is by default, but I'm not sure. Um, and yeah, there's a few new features down here: the rich notification, dictionary sync, uh, and touch initiated stuff. Uh, this Chrome Apps Launcher doesn't work on Windows Vista, so or or for me, it doesn't work on Windows 7 either. So I'm not sure where they're going with this. But uh, some people have had it work, so you might want to try that. And uh, let's get back to the, now let's go to the URL bar, the Omnibar. Um, different UI when you're typing. Uh, as you see, wider range, uh, definitely wider range, goes from left to right. Uh, you have a different UI, once again, um, different text font. Looks a little neater um, compared to a different browser, uh, compared to the normal Chrome. It um just feeds directly below it. It does not. It is not connected to the omnibar in any way. It is just a different drop down, and you have a slightly different result at the omnibar when you do it in the Google bar. You could say. So when I type that up, wait a minute. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. It doesn't actually type in the bar. It types up here in the omnibar. So if I type in G, G comes up here. So, if I want to type up a username, however, it goes in right. If I want to type up a website, my bad, it goes up right there. So, um, 
yeah, it's pretty weird what they did with that. Giant bar taking up a lot of space, and then, uh, just leads you right back to the Omni bar. But, um, what I did realize, well, it's kind of cool, actually, was that if you do a search for something, now I don't know why instance not available, but if I just click enter right here, actually, and that was weird, that was glitchy, okay, so let me go back to the new tab page again, sorry about that, I just type up google.com, except I backspace up those, and just click enter. As you can see, the instant loads up, right? I can scroll in the instant. And when I press enter, it goes to Google, it searches it, but look at this. Google at the top, it's its own little uh, little thing here. You have Google search written up here. You have all of the Google things except for the login. Um, and it works fine, actually. So, really, uh, I think it's a great... Um, feature. It looks very neat. Uh, you can click Google to go back to the actual Google, but this is pretty much built in. This is not really a website. You know, it's it's pretty much just built in. And I think that's pretty cool. So, um, that's about it for this uh, new uh, Google Chrome 26 review. If you did enjoy it and you uh, want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And um, you can follow me on Twitter uh, for like new tech information and stuff. Uh, links will be in the description to download Google Chrome and um, Google Chrome regular, which is actually 24. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.